So we're here today with our friend Eric. He's picking up a tote of biochar, and th this is kind of an interesting story because what he's going to use it for is to treat some compost that he made that he knows has some herbicide contamination in it. And um, he's used some previously in his garden, and I want to have, have him tell you that story a little bit about what they used it for and the benefits they saw. Okay, we had bought a, a new piece of property, and we had uh, formed it up into beds, and we planted green beans and... Uh, and strawberries in a particular area and just in that area that garden uh, after the, the, the strawberries died like immediately and uh, the green beans went about to four leaves and then they the whole middle of it just died out desiccated some Canada thistle around the edges of that and we figured somebody had sprayed that piece of ground with something and we did not know what and due to the expense of finding out what it was we decided to just do something about it. So I did a little research and decided I'd try applying biochar. So we burnt some trees uh, and made our own carbon. And we, I ran that through a wood chipper uh, and it spread the, the carbon out over the area in the garden. I did that in the late fall. And uh, then it snowed in the winter. And then in the spring, I bedded it back up for planting. And since we knew it had a broadleaf herbicide in it that was pretty aggressive, we planted uh, sweet corn in there, and every sixth plant or so was a green bean plant. And uh, that year we harvested good sweet corn off of that, and we also um, had green beans out of that area. And the green beans were really leggy, so they were either looking for the sun in the corn or they had some growth stimulant herbicide that was causing that defect in that plant. So um, I believe in it, and uh, I'm going to take this carbon and treat some compost that was that's that's being composted in a yard that has soil contamination, and it can leach up into the pile a little bit. So I'm going to try to head that off uh, before I apply it to my farm ground. Thanks, Eric. So the, the thing about these herbicides that I think is important to understand is their growth regulator herbicides. Milestone is one of them that's quite common. And what we thought from Eric's situation was that probably the previous owner had sprayed some thistle in a grass pasture area with some milestone. And that was their residual in the soil that we were dealing with. And so that's partially also why the corn did so well. That's a grass and it's not affected by these broadleaf herbicides. So stay tuned. We're going to see how this works for Eric and we'll let you know.